Okay, so we're just going to look at a few transpiration experiments, seeing as we've got the potometer stuff out at the moment. <laughs> well, we would, but I can't get the lid off the Vaseline. It's an essential component. <laughs> look at that. Strong hands. Excellent. Right, so, um, I started thinking, oh, we'll do some videos on photometers, and then I thought, oh, actually, there are more transpiration experiments than photometers, and ones that have come up sort of in the past are the good old get some Vaseline on your leaf experiments, and, you know, there's, there's been a couple of questions, I think, on that. So I've got my little balance. It's cute, isn't it? How cute is that balance? I want one. Oh, and it says hello to you. Lovely. So, the principle of the Vaseline experiment is that you weigh the mass of your leaf, so mine's 0.63, you remember which leaf it is, and then you apply Vaseline, which is um, impermeable to water. So, on one leaf, you put it on the upper side, now obviously there are no stomata on your upper side, so we know that that one weighs 0.63 grams. My next one weighs, so you do need to make a record of this, 0.83 grams. And I'm going to Vaseline that on the underside. Now this is where the stomata are. So if I spread Vaseline on top of the stomata, it kind of blocks them and stops them losing water. So effectively you're stopping the water loss from the top side, the bottom side, and then of course you can do another one and do both sides, or you could do one without any, and, um, ew, nice, um, you could do an another one without any as a sort of control, and then you merely tie your leaves up, put another leaf bondage there, whoops, uh, oh, <laughs> You might be never to go into bondage. <laughs> I've broken it. <laughs> it's not like crochet, this, is it? Um, a bit delicate. I'll be gentle. And then you suspend them. Uh, and obviously you can then alter the conditions around the leaves. Like you can give them different wind currents. You could give them different temperatures. Uh, you could put a plastic bag around one and see if the humidity makes any difference. And you just leave them and you weigh them until they reach a constant mass where they're, sort of, you know, they're not losing any more water. The results you'd expect would be that this one would lose a lot of water from its, and will lose a lot of mass from its underside. And this one, of course, would lose less because there are fewer stomata on the top. And you can combine that with a stomatal density um, count and look at perhaps stomatal density of your leaves. Um, another sort of similar experiment is to take a leaf and sellotape a piece of cobalt chloride paper on to one side and the other and time how long that cobalt chloride paper takes to turn blue. Um, obviously it, cobalt chloride paper works by turning blue when there's water present so the faster it turns the more water is being lost and again you could combine that with stomatal density information okay that's it for uh, simple experiments